Hello all the UPSC aspirants again in the Abhimanyu IS, myself Pravesh Watts, the faculty of Indian Polity. And as I bring you a new concept of every week, I bring you a new concept for today's concept class for the UPSC means and the prelims exam. And the topic of today's concept class is PISA Act 1996, which is having an association with the Panchayati Raj or the grassroot institution of decentralization in India. So let's see what is PISA Act, what are its provisions and before I begin, I would like to share that those students who wants to join the Indian Polity module of mine, they can join and every information is available on this chart, number and the link is also available in the description box. So please look at that. So let's see what the Peace Act is all about. Panchayat extension in the Schedule Areas Act 1996, this is the full form of this abbreviation Peace Act 1996. Our panchayats are in every state which were brought by the 73rd Constitutional Amendment Act in the year 1992 by the Prime Minister Shri Narasimha Rao. The panchayats were established across the country uniformly but because we are having peculiarities in our Indian society which is called diversity. So we cannot establish one form of institution everywhere uniformly and that is the main provision of this act which is called Peace Act. हमारे यहाँ पर 10 ऐसे स्टेट्स हैं जहाँ पर स्केड्यूल ट्राइब्स रहती हैं और इसीलिए दो स्टेट्स आर कंसीडर्ड एस स्केड्यूल्ड एरिया स्टेट्स ऐसे हमारे यहाँ 10 स्टेट्स हैं अक्रोस कंट्री स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम हिमाचल टू दी उड़ीसा एंड अदर प्लेसेस व्हिच आई बी टेलिंग यू इन द वीडियो सो उन स्केड ताकर ताकि tribes को भी एक democratic decentralization form of government मिले and under article 40 village panchayats जो party politics से अबव होती हैं तो village panchayats में उनको एक taste of power एक taste of community participation उन्हें मिले तो ये सारा PISA Act का objective है so let's see one by one this was enacted by the parliament to extend panchayat into fifth schedule areas with modification and exceptions I just mentioned modifications and exceptions just to suit their adaptability, just to cater their specific and peculiarity needs. Which are these 10 states? Himachal, Rajasthan, Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand, Odisha, Andhra and Tamil Nadu. So these are mostly the 10 states which are called Schedule Area States where the Peace Act Panchayats ko laid down. Karta hai. It is aimed to establish self-rule for the tribals, village governance and participatory democracy. So these are the three different terms which you have to mention when you are writing the means exam regarding the PISA question that it aims for the self-rule for tribals, village governance and community participation and participatory democracy in the schedule areas. It also gives administrative experience to tribals in concern with their practices. Unki practices bhi ho karte rahe aur unko ek administration ka taste bhi milta rahe. They control their life systematically. They live with legal rational point of view. Safeguard their traditional customs by giving them specific powers. They have been allotted specific powers under the Peace Act 1996 which I'll be telling you in the next slides. Jis se unki customs, unki traditions wo bhi achche se chalte hai aur unko ek administrative experience bhi ho. एक सोशल जस्टिस की भी उनको फैसिलिटी मिलती है वट आर दील इन फीचर्स ऑफ दिस एक्ट एनी स्टेट लॉ पर्टेनिंग पंचायत विल बी एज पर द कस्टम्स सोशो रिलीजियस एंड ट्रेडिशनल प्रैक्टिस ऑफ द स्केड्यूल कम्युनिटीज जहां पर भी या जिस भी स्टेट में पीस एक्ट 1996 अप्लाई होगा सेकेंड एवरी विलेज शेल मैनेज इट्स अफेयर्स एज पर ओन ट्रेडिशन कस्टम्स एंड कॉन्स्टिट्यूट अ ग्राम सभा comprised of person included in the electoral rolls. So, here are two things we have to look very specifically. First, the village authorities which is Gram Sabha will be having the powers to manage their affairs of the administration of panchayats into their particular area. And this Gram Sabha, the definition of Gram Sabha was asked in the prelims exam of the UPSC in the, in the you know, recent years. So, you should also look the exact definition into the constitution mentioned under article 243 of the constitution into the chapter of panchayats. Gram Sabha shall approve plans 
and programs of various kinds and will ensure their suitable implementation. So the Gram Sabha is assigned two types of work. First, they have to prepare the plans of socio-economic development of social justice and along with that they have to check their implementation ki wo dhang se apply ho bhi rahi hai ya nahi. After that they will identify the beneficiaries for poverty alleviation schemes because poverty alleviation is a major task in these scheduled areas because they are very remotest areas and they do not have uh, they do not have the development and the socio-economic progress in their particular areas and that is why the poverty alleviation programs have to be catered specifically. In every panchayat one half seats will be reserved for scheduled tribes along with all the seats of chairpersons at all the levels. In simple, we can say that one half seats in every panchayat in the scheduled areas under the PSAT will be reserved for the scheduled tribes but along with that all the chairperson seats whether it is the Gram Sabha or it is the intermediate or it is the Zilla Parishad everywhere the chairpersons will be coming from will be hailing from the scheduled tribes only. Then the state government will nominate one tenth again and this is called nomination. State government will nominate one tenth in maximum of any community which is not presented in panchayat at the intermediate or district level. At the district or the intermediate levels of panchayats if any community as per the state legislature is not represented so state government or the state legislature will nominate one tenth people of such community into the panchayats at these two respective levels. Gram Sabha shall be consulted before acquisition of land in such areas for development and rehabilitation purposes. If any uh, you know government if any union of the state wants to rehabilitate, if apart from that they want to do any kind of major and mega development. So the Gram Sabha consultation will be necessitated, they will be consulted, they will be taken into the confidence and this is showing that in the grams in the schedule areas the gram sabha is very much potent and plays a very significant role to provide the socio economic development and grassroot development in the remotest areas the gram sabha will also manage the governing of minor water bodies neher canals minor rivers culverts everything will be done by them and prior recommendation of gram sabha is mandatory for granting of mining license auction for mineral minerals in such areas because these schedule areas where these tribes resides they are the areas where the raw material for the mega industries lies and these are the you know areas where the natural minerals and natural ores are found and that is why the Gram Sabha will will be assigned and has been assigned I would say these kinds of power of granting mi mining li licenses leases and you know auctions powers for the mineral minerals in such areas. So again I would say that minor minerals and major minerals this was a question in the prelims exam in the UPSC. So you should look every act very specifically and you should try to understand what the examiner will and can modify in this particular thing to bring a question into your prelims exam or in the mains exam. Now let us see apart from that powers are assigned by the state governments. What are the different sort of powers have been assigned? First powers to enforce prohibition regulate restrict sale and consumption of intoxicant we have number of it intoxicants like alcohol drugs and other, and other particular things so their regulation they, um, and uh, you know they will be regulated restricted and their consumption will also be regulated by the authorities ownership of mineral forest produce these gram sabha and these uh, you know panchayats in the scheduled areas will be having the full control over the minor forest produce like uh, those minor forest produce which have been fold down and uh, they cannot be cutted though and this was also a question in the prelims then rent land alienation and power to restore such land they can provide their land on the rent they can alienate any land from a particular area then manage village markets, local markets or daily markets and control over the money lending authorities. You would have heard about the chit funds and lottery system and committee system. So the Gram Sabha will be having a major role to play in that. Control over social sectors and functionaries, social development schemes, social economic development schemes, political schemes and their functionaries, how they will be implemented, how they will be monitored. Every power has been assigned to the panchayats in the schedule areas manage plans, resources and tribal affairs. All the tribal affairs, their customs, their traditions will be managed as per the 
decisions and as per the uh, as per the uh, consent of the local level panchayats in the schedule areas and ensure that panchayats at higher levels do not interfere in the lower levels so this is also one of the important aspect which actually we can say that it is a kind of separation of power where the higher authorities of the panchayat which is are having at intermediate or the district level they cannot interfere into the matters of the gram sabha in the schedule areas so this much was in the pisa act which is panchayat extension schedule areas act 1996 brought by the parliament again to establish democratic decentralization and grassroots development in the schedule areas by ensuring that the tradition customs and the diversity of the country do not get diminished and neglected so thank you so much we'll meet on the next day with the next topic thank you so much